Good afternoon, welcome to the shed. So um, just a little quick repair job this afternoon. Uh, I bought this tape deck. This is a NAD 602. Uh, basically I was after the amp, but I had to buy the uh, amp, the tape deck, CD player, and the receiver. I paid 60 quid for the lot. Um, so, you know, that's the amp is worth that on its own. So anyway, now I've got it, I've got to make it work. The tape deck isn't working correctly. I should say I have already opened it up and had a look and see what's wrong um, and basically the what they call the capstan band in here uh, basically was pretty much mush when I opened it up um, I had a look on YouTube there's a few videos on how to do this but not for this particular unit the one that I looked at was pretty scary stripped down the whole shell took everything apart all of the whole uh, tape deck unit uh, but I thought, well, I'll have a little look uh, and see if this one's as easier. And luckily it is. Two bands in this one. One of them's fine. One runs the little uh, digit Dubri counter. Uh, and the other one runs the, the main tape deck. So we're going to strip it down. I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. Um, change the band and hopefully, hopefully that'll fix it. I bought a band. It cost me seven quid on eBay. Not a bad price, I suppose, for getting it going again. Um, but it's quite nice to, to do these things. Okay, so um, let's get you over to the bench and I'll show you what I'm doing. First of all, there are six screws like this in the chassis. Okay, I'll do the other end. There are three screws on the back. You don't really need me to tell you how to undo, undo screws, it's pretty obvious. Quite nicely made these nads. I think this is 1994 or something like that, so it's 20 odd years. Bloody old, nearly 30 years old. There you go. Okay, this then lifts off. exposes the chassis, make sure it's unplugged, which it is. Okay. So here is the tape unit. The capstan belt goes over this wheel here around the little motor wheel there, and that's where it was wrapped wrapped around. Uh, you won't be able to see that. I'm going to try and bring you in for a closer, closer look in a moment. Um, so basically there are two screws, one here, and one here, which allow you to release this motor um, unit, pull it away, put the band on, and then put it back. The hardest bit is relocating this panel. Okay, so one screw on the front here. Right, need the smaller screwdriver. And one on the side. So after a bit of faffing out about, I realised that that is actually undoing and I was just being stupid. Okay, so that is now loose and this slides out and across. So there's like a little hook there. That's it, lift it up and away. And that should be enough for me to get the band on, hopefully. Hopefully my fat fingers won't be too bad. I can't get close enough to show you a close up of that, but you get the idea. There's like a, a wheel here or a pulley, pulley wheel here. And slips over there. 
end onto this flywheel. It's probably, I'm not going to be able to get that on there properly until it's actually in place. Tighten up this screw and get it to locate correctly. Still not right. Bit of trial and error here to get it lined up. in there. Right, that wasn't easy. That took me a good five minutes to get that lined up. Okay, so one of the problems I had was the band was getting trapped when I was trying to push it, push it all together. Um, so I have got the band the right side of the wheel, but it's not in place. So now I need to try and work that into position. This should be fun. Putting it over the small wheel first. Oh. Just used a paintbrush to locate it there, or the back of a paintbrush, so that I don't damage the, the band. And hopefully I should be able to just wheel it over. No, not as easy as I thought. Okay, I'm struggling here, so I've decided I need to be clever. I can get the uh, band on the wheel, but it just slides straight off again because I can't get to the hole of the wheel. So I'm gonna actually tape it to the wheel. Hopefully that'll take it around. Let's see if this works, don't know if you can see that, but I've got a little bit of builders, uh, decorators tape on there. that has done it. Got to be clever, haven't you? Take that bit of tape off. That band is now in position and hopefully it will stay there. Let's try powering her up and see if it actually does work. One problem is I can't get the tape deck open, but. Okay. Oh, I can now. Let's put a tape in. Now I'm not connected up to an amplifier, so it's obviously not gonna make any noise, but. Sinatra, the reprisal years. That came with the unit. Okay. Okay, I've set it to zero, let's play. Nothing. Okay, so the band went on okay. Once I did my little trick with a bit of tape, that's nice and tight, that's spinning okay. I went to start it and it spanned once and then turned off again. And the reason was, there's a little control arm here, which when I pulled off this panel here, that control arm slipped out of where it was supposed to be on this sort of cog here and was just basically flailing about up the top there. So it had no actual control of the heads. I think that thing moves the heads into position. Um, so yeah, it was just sort of uh, error, causing an error and uh, logging me straight out again, as it were. Um, so now I've put that, located that arm, that sprung arm into the correct place and it now works okay. We are plugged in. Let me just see if I can find the button. That is running, it is turning. Don't know if you can see, you won't be able to see this band moving, but it is. Uh, let's turn that off. It's not very easy to do this the wrong way around. Let's turn it around. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. So, reset that. That is moving slowly. You can see I've got some output. Obviously, um, you haven't got the actual sound because it's not plugged into anything. Might go and plug it in and uh, play a tape. I've only got one cassette tape, that's the other thing. Uh, Beverly Craven, I don't know where that came from, but I found it in a drawer. Okay, let's put it back together and I will take it upstairs and we'll do a quick test. 
Okay, so we're all um, powered up and ready for the first play. Right, that's probably enough, otherwise I'll get a copyright claim against me. But you can see it works. I'm very happy with that. Thanks very much. Okay, um, so there we go, got that working. Cost me, as I say, seven quid for a new belt. Probably could have just used a rubber band. I'm sure it would have worked okay. Um, it's working okay, as you saw from the test. Um, yeah, I need to get some new tapes, but my son wants to use it for recording tapes uh, to go in his car. He reckons he's gonna get a classic car with a tape deck. We'll see. The only thing I have noticed is it seems to be a little bit sensitive about starting and stopping, but it seems to be okay now. Maybe uh, just because it hasn't been used for a while. Um, yeah, so it's a working unit. I'm happy with that. That's the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.